Hi everybody, Roshni here. In this video, I wanna talk briefly about heavy metals in functional mushrooms and functional mushroom supplements. High levels of heavy metals in any food source can be damaging to our health, and lead, mercury, arsenic, and cadmium are some of the heavy metals we should most avoid. But when it comes to heavy metals in mushrooms, functional mushroom powders and supplements are problematic for two reasons that we're gonna talk about here. While we chat, let's check out some footage of a place where lead paint and leaded fuel are banned, and that's Singapore. So here we go. Mushrooms are like sponges. They absorb whatever is in their growing environment. And if they grow in polluted areas, they literally suck up the pollution that's around them and pass it on to you. They're bioaccumulators, which means that no matter what their growing medium is, if that growing medium has a heavy metals profile, chances are that contamination will end up in the mushroom itself. And because certain heavy metals can be present in soil or commercially farmed mushroom substrate, even some certified organic products may contain heavy metal contamination. Different types of mushrooms absorb heavy metals at different rates, and the particular location where they're grown, what they're grown in, and the level of ambient pollution around them all can affect how and how much mushrooms absorb contaminants, including heavy metals from their growing environment. Lead gets the most attention as a heavy metal with negative health impacts on the human body, but there are definitely others to be aware of. Lead has been linked to bone, heart, and behavioral disorders. Arsenic is a known carcinogen that blocks the body's detoxification system. And cadmium has been linked to heart disease, skin, and kidney disorders. This is scary stuff, and the reality is that there is no regulatory agency that routinely tests functional mushrooms or functional mushroom supplements for contamination with lead or other toxic metals prior to sale. So what can you do as a smart consumer of functional mushrooms or functional mushroom products? The first step is to look for third-party lab-tested products. While certified organic products offer assurances of minimal contamination from pesticides or herbicides, third-party lab testing is a far better indicator when it comes to understanding a product's heavy metal profile, as well as potential information about things like allergens, bad bacteria, yeasts, molds, mycotoxins, pesticides, and irradiation. Careful lab testing to verify mushroom supplements' health benefits can help you avoid false claims. These days, there are a lot of top functional mushroom products out there that actually have a QR code on the label where you can check out the third-party lab testing report to get actual data about the heavy metals content of a given functional mushroom powder or other product. Secondly, looking into the country of origin and the sourcing and sustainability practices of a particular functional mushroom product can yield a way better sense of quality and purity standards. Companies that place this information front and center on their packaging, their labels, their website, are way more committed to communicating openly with consumers about the steps that they're taking around quality control regarding heavy metals contamination or other types of toxicity that might wind up in their product. Understanding where functional mushrooms are grown, how they're sourced, what types of quality assurance goes into the supplement making process really enhances your ability to spot products that deliver value and control for the toxic load that can originate from pollution and poor sourcing practices. So that's, in a nutshell, a quick primer on heavy metals and functional mushroom products. If you're just getting started with herbal and functional mushroom supplements, I've linked below to my free consumer guide with pointers on what to look for, what to be aware of. And feel free to check that out, as well as my courses and other videos that go deeper into aspects of plant medicine and functional mushrooms. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe. See you next time at Expeditionary Mindset. Cheers.